Hi guys, my name is Terry Donnelly and this is a video of a recent shoot I did in an abandoned house in Liverpool. In this section of the video I'm actually looking into the basement and I'm just checking out really and doing a recce and seeing what areas I'd like to shoot in. It's always important to have a good look around when you go into these places, check for safety, make sure there's nobody hiding, <laughs> that sort of thing. And really you're just having a little bit of a look around to see what areas you'd like to shoot in. I quite like the look of this store, if I can do something with this, I like the textures and the colours on there. And I like the grill as well, which is uh, going to be good for shining some light through to cast a shadow onto our model's face and act as a go-between. This door was actually locked, so just having a, a look over the top to see what's in there. Make sure there's no axe murderers or any, anything of that nature going on. And I'm actually looking around, I'm, I'm using my Neo 2 to shine light, because it's much, much better light than what you get from any sort of flashlight or torch. Nice soft lights, nice wide beam. And also it gives you an idea of how it's going to be once you light it up with the Neo as well, once the model's in place. We're just heading back towards the stairs where they entered the basements in the first place. There's a box of chicken, don't think I'll be touching that anytime soon. There was quite a smell down there as well which wasn't pleasant. And again, when you go into these places you, you're entirely at your own risk, so be careful. Trip hazards, broken glass, um, food which is years old, you just got to be careful on everything. As we look around, there's some crockery, a one litre bottle of California white wine, which is probably quite nice in its day. Doesn't look so good now. Here's that box of chicken again. Give that a wide berth. And I've pretty much decided now, I'm going to shoot in two areas. This will be one. And this will be the other by the door. Nicola, our model, has now gone into the arched area and we're using a single light at the moment to the back of the tunnel which is a Rotolite EOS with a red gel. I'm shooting this on a Sony A9 with a 12 to 24mm G lens which is an f4 lens and that's given us a really wide view and it's given us some really strong lead-in lines towards our model who currently is in silhouette. We've now introduced the Neo 2 to the front of our model to reveal detail in the face and the cloven. And it's a bit of a balancing act between not washing out the red light from the Rotolite EOS behind our model, but getting enough white light onto a face and the cloven to give us a correct exposure for the skin tones and the face. I've now changed the lens to an 85mm G Master f1.4 and that gives us a totally different perspective and a different type of render to what we had before with the wide angle. I must say a special thank you to Nicola also. She actually has a fear or a phobia of confined spaces which she overcome to do this shoot with me and I really appreciate her doing that. I've now moved across to the second area I wanted to shoot in. And our model is just the other side of the grilled area in the door. And I'm using the Neo 2 to the left hand side of the door to shine white light through the grill. And it's acting as a gobo, a go between between our model and the light. And it's casting shadows down a face just to add atmosphere and a different dimension to the shot. Once again, we've moved the Rotolite EOS to the rear of our model with the red gel. And that purpose is just to fill the darkness with a red light and to lift the shadows and provide an accent light to the side of our model. The whole shoot took less than 10 minutes from start to finish and we had to work really quickly for a number of reasons. One, our model had a little bit of a phobia over confined spaces and also it stunk. 
It was really smelly down there. We didn't want to be in there for too long. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And also see the details at the end of the video with links to my social media. Thanks for watching.